I'm Danny Gurry, and you've tuned in to Good Morning Frederick. It's a podcast, well, about Frederick. Everything, the people, the businesses, the nonprofits, and the cool stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Good Morning Frederick. Oh, good morning, Frederick. Today is Thursday, August 1st, and I'm your host, Danny Gurry. What a day yesterday. Uh, so many things going on. I took Mama Cone all through Frederick yesterday. We stopped at Frederick Social, got to talk to Rhonda McLaughlin, uh, who is the wife of Salier McLaughlin, who is producing and directing Boomtown. They had a little event there, and it was so great to see Mike and Audie from Frederick Social. It's a really great place. If you haven't been there yet, the food is unreal. They've got a beverage wall. I won't just say beer wall because there's mixed cocktails and wine available as well. You can pour as much or as little as you want, which is fantastic, and the food is unreal. And then we strolled up to Brewer's Alley and peeked in on their 28th anniversary celebration. Uh, We couldn't stick around long, though. We were invited to an event at Fingerboard Farm with Jeremy Poling and got to talk to him a little bit about an organization that he helps um, that teaches kids about like hunting and fishing and all that good stuff. Very cool, actually, because when I was growing up here in Frederick County, most of the kids I knew, uh, you know, either had some tie to agriculture or farming or hunting and fishing. Uh, Frederick's got a lot of great places for that. And, uh, Yeah, it's very cool. So we're going to have them because they have an event coming up in August. If your child, if you want to get your kid outdoors and kind of learn the ways of the land, uh, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But anyway, so we ran, ran, ran. I didn't get home till, you know, almost nine o'clock and getting things ready for this morning. But I have to say, I slept amazing last night. I was exhausted. I almost fell asleep editing video. (laughs) Let's hope it doesn't show. (laughs) <laughs> the hundredth show is coming up. Good morning, Frederick. I cannot believe it. It's coming up August 20th. Oh my gosh. 19 days from today. It's crazy. Um, and I've created a survey. I'd love your feedback about the show. So if you're new to Good Morning Frederick, welcome. We've gotten some new subscribers and people watching, which I love, but I'd still love your feedback. What did you expect when you came in to see the show? And What would you like to see? And who? Who would you like to see interviewed? I'd love that as well. And if you want to be interviewed, because everyone has a story. People tell me all the time, oh, I'm not interesting. Oh, I can find something. I'm telling you I can find something. All right, so fill out the survey. The link is available on the Good Morning Frederick Facebook page. It is pinned right to the top, so you don't have to search for it. And, uh... I'd love to, and I'm happy to take criticism. It's okay. Helps make me better. So you don't have to be mean, but (laughs) you can give me some advice. Uh, For those of you who've been here since day one, and I see you when you jump onto the live shows uh, many times, many mornings, I appreciate you. And those who keep commenting and sharing, I see you out there, and uh, I can't thank you enough. All right, you are what keeps me moving and to keep going. It's really great. All right, subscribe to YouTube because we are shooting for 1,000 subscribers by September. We're at 619 now. We had a little surge yesterday, and again, it's amazing. You guys are doing it for this show, and uh, I really, I, I just can't thank you enough. On today's show, we continue the support and highlight of the businesses participating in Frederick Chambers' She Week and She Pitch event, uh, which happens next Wednesday at Hood College. I meet today Zakia from Natural Glory, and she's got an expansion of her business to help women suffering from hair loss. And I know, that can be devastating. Christy from Double Dog Dare joins me today and introduces me to Blue. Oh my gosh, this dog. So sweet and the softest dog I've ever laid hands on. Adorable. 
And uh, she's been at the rescue for one year, Blue has. And Christy loves her, but needs her to find her forever home. So she's had a lot of training. She's a great dog, great personality, and I think you'll love her. And Shelby joins me on the couch at the home of everything, Frederick. Uh, she's from the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and she talks about the Light the Night event, which I have never been to, and that's coming up in September, so you can be sure I'll be there this year. Bob Miller and Chris Michaels join me from WFMD's Morning News Express. It is the Morning News Express, so I clarified just to be sure. Uh, they have local news, weather, and sports for you this morning. And as always, I've got giveaways and all the events for the rest of this week, plus some, you're, and the weekend, of course, plus some you're going to want to mark on your calendar that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. All right, let's get this Thursday started. <laughs> Thank you to the show sponsor. We help you move. Whether you're moving across the street or around the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts can make the whole thing much easier. You don't ever have to worry about your stuff being held hostage or for ransom. I've seen that on social media. It's crazy. Uh, they're a great company and they really are one of the most competitive movers, if not the most competitive movers, because I checked around because I don't like to frivolously spend money. Who does? So you can call around and then give Nick a call at We Help You Move. You can find them at WeHelpYouMove.com. They are veteran owned and a huge supporter of the Frederick community and a huge part of it, which I love as well. And uh, I would love if you were to call Nick if you needed any help at all. We help you move. All right, let's see. Do we have, well, I've got Bob here. All right, let's find out what's happening. Oh, here comes Chris. I have uh, Bob and Chris from WFMD joining me now. Well, I was just going to get started with Bob. You snuck in at the skin of your teeth there, Chris. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy first day of August. I was going to say April. I don't know right, why. August already. <laughs> I cannot believe it. It is nuts. Pretty soon we'll be shopping for Christmas. Oh, gosh. I saw somebody say the other day, I think there's like 12 Sundays left. I'm like, oh, gosh, please, no. It happened so quickly, right? It's, it's just, yeah. My I know, card. but isn't it funny how it's the same day every year but sneaks up on us every single time? My credit cards <laughs> still haven't rebounded from last Christmas. Never mind this Christmas. I'm still paying that off. <sighs> cash. Cash only. That's right. I don't I don't have a credit card, so um, I, I think I should get one, though. Because you don't have you, a credit card? No, ma'am. No, Not ma even for an emergency? No, ma'am. Wow. No, That's we, risky. Uh, I, that would make me I, panic. Me and Bob have had this discussion on air multiple times, right, Bob? Yes. Well, you know, yourself. I live, I've, I've done the Dave Ramsey course, and uh, I just, uh, it, but, but I will tell you, I, you know, I have the debit cards, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. And my, my wife remembers the Coles card number by heart, <laughs> uh, but she doesn't really buy anything anymore again. So, I mean, and if I, if I'm online and I'm buying something and I, I don't have my wallet near me, I'm like, honey, what is your, uh, what's your credit card number? And she's like, and I'm like, how do you remember that? And she goes, I use it a lot. Enter it <laughs> often enough. That's right. Not as much as she used to. And so, and I, uh, you know, we, we check in with each other and determine whether or not we need something, um, which, by the way, I may not be here tomorrow. I haven't figured it out yet. I am doing a yard sale this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm starting tomorrow. And, of course, I get off of work at, at 9. 
and then we do this. Um, but I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to pull out all the garbage. I mean, all the fine items that I have for sale uh, at my yard sale. Um, I, I'm just, I'm looking at my garage. I'll take a picture of what's in my garage right now. So you guys, yeah. now you got to remember, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reseller on eBay. So I have a lot of stuff. But I have stuff that I don't need anymore. And, yeah. you know, I, mean, I like, do I that. Have- it happens to me, too. You know, typically, you know, when they say spring clean, what happens in our garage over the winter, we get stuff out and we just kind of throw it back in. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't yeah. put it away where it's supposed to be. And so every pretty much spring when I, I do a yard sale, too, because I think, well, it's been sitting here in the garage. we got to reorganize and let's just get rid of stuff. But. I, I want to talk about the reseller thing. How does that you do well with that? I I um I do okay. I'm not making millions of dollars. I'm not I'm not able to quit my job. <laughs> yeah. Um and you know I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to. I mean, if you really want to do it properly, it's an eight hour. It's an eight hour day. Oh, I mean, I've seen just, on social media. Yeah. I follow a girl on TikTok, and it is literally morning to. It is a full time job. Right. And it, you have to know your stuff. Like it's a right. lot of research. It's, uh, you know, I watch Gary V sometimes when he goes to these yard sales and buys boxes of baseball cards for $4 and there's like right. $4,000 worth of stuff in there, but you have to know. You do have to know. And you have to, some people have to have, you know, there are the people who do the clothing. Yeah. Um, and then, so you then have to drive to all the stores and they, you know, some of these stores aren't, uh, you know, they're not as, as, uh, cheap as you might think they are. No. And so you have to source and go through clothes and know what people want to wear. And I've made mistakes. I mean, you know, I'll oh, buy yeah. a shirt that I like and I get it home. I thought I looked it over and it's missing two buttons and it's got a rip in it. So, I mean, you take that money and you toss it aside, but then again, you know, my wife sits there all the time and she goes, well, did you sell something? I sold a Starbucks cup for, you know, eight bucks plus shipping. I yeah. mean, somebody gave it to me and, yeah. you know, yeah. and I'm like, okay, so there's eight bucks and it, but right. it does take some time and, uh, you do have to have a place to storage stuff. And I have a lot of storage bins, but then again, my kids have given me stuff and that's part of the stuff that they're getting rid of. And I'm, I like six rates who needs six rates. I pick the one I like the most and I'm selling the rest of them. I have, yeah. a, you know, those kind of things. Do you specialize in anything on your resale or you just kind of keep your eye out for things and put them up? I right now I have kind of taken a bit of a uh, breather just because I need to get rid of some of the stuff I have. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, and a lot of people are now moving over to WhatsApp. I uh, not WhatsApp, but what's not. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's like uh, a online auction thing. Oh, OK. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm up for that. So, um, you know, I try to find stuff. I found something that somebody gave me and I looked it online. It's a silver tray that people are selling for like 300 bucks. Oh my gosh. I, I don't think I'm going to get that and I won't put it up that high, but you know, and then, yeah. you know, then you've got to worry about the trans, you know, getting it there. And then people yeah. are like, Oh, I didn't get it. And I want my refund. And then, but, but it says here that you did get it. And so you have to deal with that sometimes, but eBay is yeah. pretty good with that. So yeah, I, you know, it's I, fun. yeah, I haven't been on eBay for a while. Um, and, but the last time I posted, I'm like, goodness, the fees, like it's, yeah, it's, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Uh, but if you want pop, pop the reseller. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's a nice little plug there. Yeah. Yeah. Cruising Chris Michaels. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every chance he gets. <laughs> yes. I owe the radio station a lot of money, uh, on uh, spot time. Uh, right. all there my you go. Cruising, cruise entertainment plugs. That's, uh, cruiserentertainment.com. Anyway, getting to the uh, news here. Uh, uh, Good news or bad news? Uh, indifferent, Bob. Indifferent news. <laughs> we'll just say that. Uh, a Frederick man is going to prison for a long time uh, in circuit court on Wednesday. Jesse Cook, 45, was sentenced to life plus 30 years. Uh, and this is, I hate reading this, this is horrible. Uh, first degree uh, child abuse resulting in the death of of an infant boy, along with two counts of um, second-degree child abuse. Cook was convicted uh, with those charges on September 14th in 2023. He was the father of the baby boy. Again, it's it's, it's, it's so hard to read uh, news like that It's as a parent, or you don't have to be a parent, just 
it's so heartbreaking to see that. Um, the uh, a resurfacing project is underway on Hayward Road. The Frederick State Department of Public Works says the project got started on Wednesday, July 31st, and is expected to be completed by August 21st. It will cover Hayward Road from Thomas Johnson Drive to Arrowhead Drive. DPW says that during the project, motorists should expect reduced travel lanes and dusty conditions. Drivers are urged to plan for potential delays and use caution uh, when traveling through the uh, work zone. And taking a quick look at weather, uh, today mostly sunny, early with isolated thunderstorms, Developing this afternoon, storms may contain strong, gusty winds. So if you have all that beautiful hair like I do, make sure you uh, keep your hair in place so it doesn't fly around. Uh, high of 99, it's going to be a hot one with the heat index possibly going up to 106. And tonight, partly cloudy with a stray shower or thunderstorms as possible. Low around 75, taking a sneak peek into tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Early scattered thunderstorms develop later in the day. Uh, storms may contain strong and gusty winds again. High, still hot, of 97. And as Bob brings his sports report, I apologize. I have to bid you a adieu and goodbye. Uh, no radio, busy, constant meeting. So I, I like how he worked his way right into his thing and said, see you later. All right. Yeah. Have a great day. Danny, I, I was tomorrow. wondering why he was being, you know, <laughs> not so verbose like he normally is. I and know. I'm like, something's going on. I think that's the best All way right. he's read the news and weather so far. <laughs> right? Since you've been on the show. Right. All right. You know, the segment's supposed to be five minutes long, and <laughs> it's 55 poor, minutes long. Poor, Go poor do Danny. your poor Danny. important stuff. I see where I am on the priority yeah. list. Right? You know, yeah. I love you, Danny. Take care, Bob. Yeah. See you guys Bye. later. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's gonna be he's uh, kissing the uh, the hindquarters of the new bosses. Uh, you That's know. right. <laughs> All right. Well, in sports, what a great night if you're an Orioles fan because Jackson Holiday is back in the majors and he did it in grand fashion. He hit a fifth inning grand slam for his first career home run to help the Orioles to attend a four victory over the Blue Jays on Wednesday. Now the cool thing was. The uh, ball hit Utah Street, so they mark it. They put his name out there. And Tim Smar uh, Sartwell, uh, on his 39th birthday, took off from work, took his five-year-old son to the ball game. They're from Frederick, and they were lucky enough to grab the ball. Wow. Yes. So they enjoyed a the holiday, enjoyed a post-game Gatorade shower from the dugout or front of the dugout. And then he went and met Tim and Wyatt. Uh, in the bowels of Camden Yard, they exchanged the baseball for an autographed bat, which was not used for the home run swing. Wyatt asked how the Gatorade felt, and Holiday laughed. It was cold, really, really cold. Yeah. So they they were saying that, you know, hey, everybody was telling him to keep the ball, and he said, I would never do that. This is a good kid. I'm gonna give him, I'd am give up that ball every single time. So, yeah, you know, uh, that's an interesting thing, you know, a lot of times. So it's, uh, well, what a, what a good, hopefully good stuff comes back to them uh, for yeah. doing that. Well, they get the bat and they can they can store the bat. And, uh, you know, if they eventually, if uh, Jackson Holiday becomes a major star in this game, if they want to sell it, they can sell it. If not, they just have a, they have a great story to tell uh, yeah. for the, uh, the rest of their lives. Well, yeah. not a great story. Frederick Keys. Well, they did a back and forth with the state college spikes all afternoon, but they could not hold the uh, spikes in the ninth inning and uh, surrendered five runs. And got uh, got spiked themselves, seventeen to eleven, to uh, cap a six-game homestand. Uh, and um, Frederick manager Jock Jones just said and it was one of those days where state college just didn't miss. Yeah. yeah. The Nationals Nationals got beat by the Arizona Diamondbacks. They uh, swept the Nationals. And they won yesterday by a score of five to four. And congratulations going out to Bethesda native uh, Katie Ledecky won the fifteen hundred meter freestyle, which is a uh, long, grueling race. She did it in uh, fifteen minutes thirty seconds point oh two. And there you go, shattered her own Olympic record. That's amazing. Good for yeah. her. Congratulations. For her. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, I mean that would be just a tick faster than I could swim it. <laughs> Yeah, with I'd still big, be swimming. Yes, with my big floaties. <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah. 
your little flamingo floaty ring and your little arm floaties. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'd finish that race in about three to five business days. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. I Have a you. good day. Have a good weekend. Good luck with your yard sale. I hope you clear Thank everything you. out and I uh, will we'll see send you, you a picture of the, of the yeah. uh, pig pile that I have in my garage. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Have All a good right. one, Bob. See you, Danny. Good morning, Frederick. All right. Thank them so much for giving us that local view, even though it's still the not so terrible news. Well, that was pretty terrible. I'm so tired of hearing. Well, I guess I'm glad we're hearing about people being incarcerated for doing bad stuff, but Anyway, means they're getting caught, I guess. All right, giveaways. We've got them for you every single week. Maryland Lottery scratch-offs. We've got a uh, three-hour adventure ticket from Tree Trekkers. We've got four tickets to any Frederick Keys game. And, you know, I forgot to add, but I'm going to add it. I've got a pair of tickets to a Live at Five for you. The season runs through September, I think end of September. So, uh, oh, no, October Third, I think, is the last one. The first weekend, first Thursday in October is the last Alive at Five. So still plenty of time to get there if you haven't. Uh, it is obviously tonight, too. All right, quick break. Then we're going to go over all the events uh, from the best calendar in the region, I think, anyway. We'll find out uh, the... Uh, and we'll also meet Blue from Double Dog Dare Rescue. You're going to meet Zakia from Natural Glory. And uh, she's going to talk about her sheep hitch. And, of course, we've got Shelby from the Lymphoma Leukemia Lymphoma Society to talk about their event, which is Light the Night. All of that is coming up right after this. All in One Events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. shop is open. Join Habitat for Humanity of Frederick County, Maryland for the 9th Annual Blue Crabs and Blueprint Celebration on Saturday, August 24th at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. This family-friendly day includes crabs from JB Seafood, food trucks, live music, and yard games. This fun-filled day supports Habitat's home repair and home build programs, making a difference year-round right here in Frederick County. Crabs must be pre-ordered by August 19th, so don't delay. Get your crabs now for this Maryland-style crab feed. ANS Construction, a local and award-winning uh, woman and minority-owned construction company, and it's right here in Frederick. ANS Construction specializes in roofing and siding. They also do windows and gutters, along with patios and decks. Uh, call 301-703-2157, or you can email info at ansconstruction.net. Or visit them online, A and S Construction. We really appreciate the support for them. Okay. Uh, also, don't forget that $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. Okay, let's talk about what's happening in Frederick. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Taco Bar. It's Berea Thursday at Taco Bar at West Point Plaza, right on Route 40. Berea is slow-cooked shredded beef, and it's served a variety of ways. The most common one is with uh, melted cheese on tacos, and you get that consomme, which is the beef broth, and you dip it in. Oh, so delicious. You can get a Berea taco, a queso Berea, pizza Berea, Torta Berea, Berea fries, and more. Remember, at Taco Bar, this special is only available on Thursdays. Head to tacobar1.com 
for details and the address. All right, if you want to know what's happening in Frederick, you got to go to the best calendar uh, that kind of puts it all in one place. Well, I think so anyway. I'm a little biased, of course. You're going to go to promocircus.com, which is my company, and then you're going to click on Everything Frederick Live, which is the name of our YouTube channel, and then you're going to click on Calendar Events. All right, here we are, August 1st. My gosh, there's like 30-some events every single day in this town, and I feel it. Boy, I'm invited to so many things, and I hate, I try to get around to as much as I can, and sometimes it's just impossible. I know you guys probably feel the same too, but this is a great calendar. If you've got kids you need to entertain until school starts, or people coming in from out of town, or you're just bored and you want to do something, oh my gosh, there's always something happening. And especially on Thursdays, uh, there's always something great happening. You can head. I was at Fingerboard Farm yesterday for a private event in the inn there. If you're looking for a place to have an event, uh, maybe a baby shower, bridal shower, small wedding, maybe you're doing a vow renewal or something like that, it is an absolutely gorgeous place. And you can stay the night, stay the weekend little staycation it sleeps like 14 people and it's uh just really really beautiful but they have a fresh produce market that is open uh from 11 to 5 and i believe it's all organic there so you can check that out uh finger they're located right on fingerboard road uh which is just right outside urbana uh, let's see, tie-dye day today from noon to 3 at Dancing Bear Toys and Games, which is right on East Patrick Street. You bring your shirt, they've got everything else, and you can tie-dye. I love tie-dye. It never goes out of style, for sure. And maybe they can teach you some of the really cool ways to rubber band your shirt to get those awesome patterns. I am absolutely fascinated, the professional tie-dyers, how they tie the shirts and get these repeatable patterns and their colors all perfect. I, no idea how that works. Sometimes I mix so many colors, it just comes up like brown. It's, um, but tie-dye is amazing, so fun, but it's very messy. So go make a mess at Dancing Bear uh, Toys and Games rather than at home. Uh, tonight, or this afternoon, uh, WFRE's Country on the Creek. They are at South Mountain Creamery on the creek, right at Citizens, they're kind of right near uh, 50 Citizens Way, and um, you can check that out right next to Frederick Social. Uh, they've got a Live at Five is tonight as well, so it is Asa and Friends uh, Rap and Hip Hop tonight at a live at five just six dollars to get in cash or credit card you do need id then six dollar beverages you buy your tokens and you turn those in for your beverages the tokens are good all season long and in fact through may of the following season just in case you end up with any extras my suggestion is always buy extra so you don't have to always wait in the line every single time use them all season long um all right what else is happening oh the distillery dash is this evening at six o'clock just ten dollars our friend Kristen from charm city run will be there uh benefits the mount olivet cemetery preservation and uh there'll be a little after party at mcclintock's back bar that'll be totally lots of fun this evening uh also line dancing in thermon at american legion from seven o'clock i would love to learn some of these line dances i forget them immediately though i can do them while i'm learning and then immediately immediately gone i don't know what that is but maybe old age probably all right uh tomorrow is friday you have the personal baby goat cuddling sessions i think i saw crystal post there might be one spot left if you want to go and it's personal there won't be a lot of people you uh book your time for you and your family or friends to come out those baby goats are so cute i would love to do it and put but i'd put one in my pocket and take it home and then that would not be good for anybody so you can uh, contact Crystal, look her up on Facebook, Crystal's Funny Farm, and you can uh, check out the details for that. 
this weekend. It is first Saturday. It is first Saturday. Come to the home of Everything Frederick, 401 North Market Street. I think I forgot to put it on here in particular. I'm going to do it as soon as I get off the stream. We are having a magician come in. Um, I'm going to double check real quick while I'm um, stalling to find out. Uh, let's see. The home of Everything Frederick here. Let's see. What time? Sorry, I gotta look around everything I'm doing here. Let's see. Uh, do we have? Oh, yes, here we go. First Saturday magic show with Mr. Kenny's Magic is happening at noon, noon to 2 p.m. Uh, that is happening, 401 North Market Street, free. Come on in, shop some of the local artisans uh, that we have there. We've got some great stuff uh, at the shop. Uh, we'd love to see you. Um, and uh, you can pick up your Everything Frederick merch, your Frederick Girl t-shirts. We've got uh, Maryland branded things, beautiful candles from our candles by b &L. Those candle baskets make amazing gifts. And uh, you can come see Mr. Kenny's magic show which is awesome bring the kids out it'll be a lot of fun all right uh let's see what else is happening this weekend we've got well if you want to do the double decker maryland double deckers uh brewery tour you can do that on saturday at three o'clock you're going to want to check maryland double deckers dot com for information there uh but they start at attaboy rack you know attaboy and rack so on that side of the creek and then they take you around to monocacy brewing rockwell brewing riverside midnight run and then you return to attaboy and rack as well oh they have loops oh you can hop on and hop off how great is that so they have these loops that run until seven o'clock. Oh, I love it. That would be so fun. And again, nothing better than sitting atop that double decker bus. All right. Cancer awareness night at the Frederick Keys. Uh, if you want to go to that event to support the American Cancer Society and have a good time, it is good, fun family entertainment. And then they have that retro roller disco Saturday, six o'clock at River Walk Park. It is, uh, I don't think it's supposed to rain, and it's free, but you probably do need your own roller skates. So what a way to throw back. I tell you, I would go because that was like my part of my childhood. I wasn't allowed to go all the time like we had the, our friends who were the skate rats, not me. I did own my own pair of roller skates, though. I begged, 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 and finally got them. Uh, but uh, I'd be afraid I'd break a hip. So I might uh, watch if you guys want to roller skate, but I don't think I would participate in that. All right, and Sunday, Double Dog Dare Rescue Dog Adoption Event is happening uh, at the Green Canine in Urbana. So we're going to meet Christy a little later in the show, and I'm sure she'll have Blue out there as well. But go on down and check out out double dog dare rescues dog adoption event and of course the summer concert series in baker park well wfre will be broadcasting live but that's the summer concert series starts at 7 p.m all right now let's just talk about a couple of the events i want you to keep in mind because they happen um early next week and then the following weeks august 6th which is tuesday national night out you can head to your local there. I think there's four or five local parks. Um, you can search for National Night Out Frederick and you will see all the information. The local police departments usually have their canine units and their cool vehicles out there for the kids. There's usually a ton of local business vendor supporters as well. Usually some sort of free food. Um, and you can bet uh, a lot of fun. You'll see a lot of people and that's what it's all about, getting the community out and um, having a good time. I am gonna stop by the Ballinger Park National Night Out with Mama Cone. We'll head out down there and uh, say hi to the Sheriff's Department. All right, August 7th is social networking at the home of everything Frederick. That's from five to seven. 
And to be honest, I mean, I, I don't mean to brag, but the nice thing about it is it's low key and it's not the same old, same old people you see when you go networking around Frederick. It was more social than networking. And uh, we will have some free adult beverages for you to come on out, but come hang out, say hi. And let me know if you want to be on the show. That's actually what I use it for mostly is to get, get new people to interview. And then of course you can also check out She Pitch, which goes for several hours. I think it'll go until eight o'clock. Cause I know I didn't stay the full time last time. I didn't realize how long it would take. Starts about 5.30 with opening remarks and all that good stuff, but then really kind of gets going about six. So anyway, I'm gonna head over there after I'm at the home of everything Frederick. Um, August 10th, uh, I talked to Rhonda from Boomtown yesterday. They're filming, uh, the Asbury United Methodist church shoot. Okay. And that is like the 1960s. And then they are also filming the big 1940s post world war II gala at the FSK hotel. So. If you're post 1940s pinup girl looking or a gentleman, uh, you want to contact Rhonda McLaughlin and let her know you'd like to be a, uh, an extra August 14th is the downtown Frederick night market from five to 8 PM. We're going to have some great deals for you, of course, then. And, uh, let me just see what I have because you know, we have that hundredth show coming. So August 14th, if you show me you've subscribed to me on uh, Good Morning Frederick or Everything Frederick Live on YouTube, you're going to get a Maryland Lottery scratch off, or you can choose two tickets to a Live at Five, or choose two tickets to the Frederick Keys. While supplies last, uh, but I have plenty, so I don't think we're going to run out. Uh, if you buy a t-shirt, a tumbler, or a hat, you're going to get a free tank top. That's $25 in value. It's like a buy one, get one free. So... Uh, you can check that out as well. Climbing for a cause and the new market fire company, big Mon money bash, both August 17th, August 24th is blue crabs and blue prints and the common markets 50th anniversary celebration. I'm going to be at all those. It'll be running around mama cone and I'll be drained and exhausted, but it'll be great. And then of course we've got coming up in September is light the night, a free event from Le Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. But obviously, if you can fundraise, you've got some time to do it now, um, you can do that. And I was looking at the fundraisers from Frederick on that um, on their website, and we've got some people doing some big stuff, over $10,000 raised for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. But I meet Shelby to tell me all about it. Back at the home of everything Frederick with Shelby, from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Well, first we gotta talk about, we have irked you here to Frederick. You originally are from Virginia, mm -hmm. or live in Virginia now. Uh, your husband in the military? Yep, he's well, in the Army. Um, we thank him very much for that you. service. We know it is a sacrifice for not only him, but for you as well and your family. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you will be moving to Frederick. Yep. So we're so excited that we're going to be able to have you very soon as a resident. Yep. But in the meantime, you're mm -hmm. in charge of an event coming to Carroll Creek. Yep. And that is September 27th. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So if you are affected by blood cancer or just really into philanthropy or helping the community, you can sign up. Um, it's free to register. It's free to attend. Um, there's no fundraising limits. So if you want to fundraise five dollars, if you want to, you know, ask your company, it really doesn't matter. Any little bit helps. Okay. Um, let me let me back up a little bit. So the Leukemia Lymphoma Society mm -hmm. focuses specifically on the blood cancer that mm -hmm. affects so many people. I, I think it's probably one of the most known or most common, mm -hmm. I guess, cancers. Uh, is that true or am I um, not correct in that? Yes and no. Um, so about every three minutes, someone's diagnosed with blood cancer. And unfortunately, most of the blood cancers are children. Mm. Um, leukemia is one of the most known cancers in young children. Mm. Um, so 
while it might not be terrible, <laughs> terrible that these kids and parents have to deal with that. Yeah. yeah. So that's what a lot of um, LLS is trying to do. We actually started what's called the Dare to Dream project, um, mm -hmm. which we're trying to raise. I, I don't know the number specifically, but I want to say it's like 27 million over the next five years to completely reinvent childhood cancer care, um, because right now they basically get the same treatments as adults. and they're not little adults. Yeah. So their bodies can't handle a lot of the treatments that adults get. Okay. So we're trying to basically just reinvent that to hopefully make their treatment different so that way they don't grow up and have tons of side effects even if they beat cancer. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that's a that's a great goal. I mean, that's what we'd all want, right? Yeah. We all want these kids to be able to recover and live a healthy, long life. <laughs> um, okay, so if you, Anyone can come to this event on September 27th. Is it at the amphitheater? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to have food trucks. There's going to be face painters. Uh, we're going to have live music. Oh, um, nice. So the, the stage that's there for Alive at Five, mm -hmm. that'll be the same place that the stage is. Okay. Um, we have live music, so we have a band from that entire time. Like I said, we have face painters. We have a mural getting painted on the sidewalk that you can be a part of. So you're actually going to get to draw a wow. part of that mural. Um, is it outlined first? Because I'm yeah. not very artistic. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Be, just want to make sure. It'll be like I don't want it to look like my, I can do a smiley maybe without any guidance. But just think of that. a really big paint by number. Yeah, like, great. But with chalk. Very cool. Um, so like we're that. doing that. Um, yeah, it's free to come to, free to hang out. Um, we'll have everybody gets a lantern, and so we have three different color lanterns, and they mean different things. So the red lantern is for any general supporter, anybody that just wants to come out. Say okay. Hey and and feel strongly about this cause. Got it. Gold is for somebody that has lost someone to cancer. Oh gosh. Um, so if you directly lost someone and you want to come out and support them and show that, and then white is actually our survivor lantern. Oh. So if you've survived any type of cancer, you can come out. You can get a shirt, um, and you you can walk with us. And it's really a celebration yeah. of of those that have survived cancer. Yeah, and it's a it's a community unity event to support those either battling, have lost, or the future of what LLS is going to be hopefully able to accomplish. So, exactly. uh, okay, so let's now talk about the fundraising side mm -hmm. of things, because without funds, you don't exist, yeah. and nor do the cures for cancer. So um, throughout the year, uh, you can just fundraise on a general level. Like, you guys don't, you don't have to bike 100 miles. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do any of that, yep. right? You're just, so the ways that people, why don't you give people three places that they can go to get money to help support this? Yeah, so there's a few different ways that we, you know, kind of tell people that they can get involved. Um, on a personal level, you can ask, you know, your network, um, spreading the word, even just getting the name out there, any little bit helps. Um, you could also go to your company um, mm. and ask them for a sponsorship, or say you work at a restaurant, you could do a proceeds night. Um, such as like we're doing one on September 2nd actually at Old Mother Brewing down here oh, in Frederick. Oh yeah, nice. Um, that where they're going to give 10% of the proceeds back to LLS um, mm. and then you know we're there just spreading the word and that's a that's a good way to kind of get out in the community and spread yeah. awareness. Yeah, because it's all you know there's so many you know you're all competing for kind of the same dollars you got to rise above mm -hmm. all that noise and let people know but the event is a great way to do that because mm -hmm. I think it's going to attract a lot of people uh, with all that free stuff. If people want to get involved even more so than just attending this free event, what do they need to do or what are your recommendations? Yeah, so there's a few different ways. Um, you could go on the website, um, which is lls.org mm -hmm. um, and find Light the Night. Um, so you could sign up there. Um, yeah. You could also send me an email or a text. Um, I'm happy to give you my phone yeah, number yeah. Um, and email. Um, okay. Or there's also other campaigns. If Light the Night is maybe not what you're interested in, um, LLS has multiple different campaigns. There are some, there's one called Student Visionaries of the Year. So if you're a high school student oh. looking to kind of have a leadership opportunity, um, we have that. Um, or Visionaries of the Year, if you're more of a community leader wanting to get involved in front of more a campaign like business side of things. Gotcha. Um, so we have a bunch of different ways to get involved. Definitely check out the website. Um, you well, know, and I'm me. sure no matter, like if you're an organization that is hosting an event and you want LLS to be the beneficiary, I'm sure you guys would welcome yep. that with open arms and Definitely. help promote. So 
get your thinking caps on. We know that you guys are creative out there, but supporting the Leukemia and Lymphoma uh, Society is a great way to give back to, and maybe you do have a personal story. But I mean, I'm telling you, there are none of us who haven't been touched by someone who's had cancer, and uh, certainly even the leukemia uh, side of things. You know, we want those kids to grow up and be nice and old like me. We want them to get to my age and uh, live a healthy, happy life. So we appreciate you, Shelby. We look forward to yeah. having you here in Frederick so we can talk to you more frequently. And we'll talk to you again as we get closer to this event, okay. as you guys are working out the details. But start to plant the seed in your mind September 27th, yes. 5.30 to about 9.30. Is it light the night? Light, yep. light the night. Yep. That's what we're attending down on Carroll Creek, where Alive at Five happens, right at the amphitheater. And we'll see you guys out there. Thank you so much. That's going to be a great event. How touching. And I don't know if I'll be able to not cry. But it'll be great uh, to see that event in full swing. All right. If you have an event you want included on the calendar, if you want me to talk about it, maybe you need an MC. All you have to do is email me. EverythingFrederickLive at gmail.com. You can email me there, everythingfredericlive at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to see what I can do to help you and get your event out to more people. All right, thinking about lunch or dinner yet? Hmm, I know I always am. Well, I've got a suggestion. Looking for a great place to eat, and I decided to take my mom to Thai Merrick. Yeah. What? What did you think? Oh my gosh, it was just so beautiful. You didn't want to eat it. It was a, a great presentation and I tried things I had never tried before. And uh, you walk away just uh, with scrumptious on your mind. Oh yeah, so they served us a tea and uh, an iced tea. And none of us are big iced tea drinkers, but it was one of our favorite things, wasn't it? Oh, it was, it was uh, sweet and light and delicious it was and then the puff the curry puffs i think they were that that was one of my favorite things it, yeah it reminded me of something my mother and grandmother used to cook uh it was excellent excellent flavor well if you want excellent flavor great presentation i mean to be stuffed head to ty merrick 1170 west patrick street in frederick tymerrick.com Okay, one more quick little break, and then you're going to meet Blue, who has been with Double Dog Dare Rescue for more than a year. And she pitched finalist Zakia from Natural Glory, who's got a help for women who are suffering from hair loss, which is, oh, I know that that can be traumatic. So I love that she, and from experience, is uh, trying to find the ways to help. All right, that's all coming up just after this. shop is open. Join Habitat for Humanity of Frederick County, Maryland for the 9th Annual Blue Crabs and Blueprint Celebration on Saturday, August 24th at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. This family-friendly day includes crabs from JB Seafood, food trucks, live music, and yard games. This fun-filled day supports Habitat's home repair and home build programs, making a difference year-round right here in Frederick County. Crabs must be pre-ordered by August 19th, so don't delay. Get your crabs now for this Maryland-style crab feed. Dream Free Art, Frederick's first and only splatter room. New location, new beginner-friendly art for shenanigans for all ages. Come fling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art's splatter room or join us for a fun and unique art experience. Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art, free your creativity. All right, let's find out who is making this Frederick Market with our market makers. All right.
Market Makers is sponsored by CK Nails, your, your full service nail and spa salon. They have manicures and pedicures, but you can also get facials, waxing, and eyelash extensions. CKNailsFrederick.com, where you can get pricing, book your appointment, and see a full list of services. CK Nails is located right off Monocacy Boulevard, I'm sorry, Christopher's Crossing in Whittier. And it's a great, convenient location, whether you're on Route 40 or down near Warman's Mill. CKNailsFrederick.com. All right, Zakia is passionate about hair, and it's pretty much a family tradition with her mom and daughter also in the profession. Recently, she was diagnosed with alopecia, and she decided to do something to help herself and other women suffering with all kinds of hair loss, not just alopecia like she had. She is also a finalist for She Pitch. Here is Zakia. Home of everything, Frederick. We are talking to She Pitch candidates. Exciting. I'm with Zakia. And you have got a very interesting, first of all, your hair is gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to talk a little bit about hair because okay. you, uh, your background is cosmetology and hairdressing, mm -hmm. but your company, Natural Glory, yes. is really helping women who have suffered not directly related to childbirth hair loss, but just hair loss in general. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting because there's a ton of products for men out oh, there yeah. that are well advertised mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I was in the um, department or pharmacy or whatever the other day and noticed there are a couple for women but they're just like quiet mm -hmm, quiet mm -hmm, little mm -hmm. hair thing yes so what have you discovered in your kind of research about this and uh, what has happened to you personally to kind of lead you down this path well let me let me say what led me down this path so I've been in the hair industry since before I was born. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, were, yes. you were in the womb <laughs> Yes, doing I was hair. in the womb yeah, with your while mom. my mom was styling and um, making beautiful heads turn. But um, I've personally been in the hair industry since 1996. Okay. I graduated from hair school. In 2001, I found that I have a love for natural hair. Mm -hmm. You know, so I started out there. But in 2018, I got registered as a business in Maryland and decided um, I'm going to really just really pursue after this. Mm. And then in 2019, which is interesting because a salon that used to be located here, I began renting a booth at Best Kept Secret okay. Salon, which is now a little further up fourth, but on Rosemont. Okay. So when I was coming here, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is their old <laughs> location. Yeah. Yes. Little flashback. But, but little yeah, flashback. so um, by faith, I um, I just started doing it full time. You know what I mean? I found myself in a circumstance where I had lost my job and I really think that the Lord showed me to pursue what I gave you. Mm -hmm. And so the gift of, you know, hair care and styling hair and everything like that and my love for natural hair care is what really propelled me into the um, full time business of styling and um, helping women care for their natural hair. Yeah. So, um, so that was in 2019 and about, let me see, in November of 23, yes, November of 23, my daughter, who's also in the hair business. Oh, wow, you guys styling. are generational, yes, I love it. Absolutely, so she was styling my hair and parted it and said, did you know you had a bald spot? And I'm like, I'm thinking she's joking, right? But she wasn't joking, and so I was in shock. And I'm like, no, I didn't know I had a ball spot, you know what I mean? And it was like smooth, not like I pulled it out or it broke off or anything, like it was bald. And so I um, went to the doctors and they sent me to a dermatologist. They gave me a, a, a diagnosis of having alopecia okay. areata. Uh -huh. I didn't know what that meant. You know, I looked it up and it's patchy bald spots. But um, it concerned me because neither one of them really examine my scalp or ask me any questions or awesome. anything. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really have any knowledge of what that meant, where that came from or anything like or that. Or what you could do. Yeah. So right? if you talk about products, well, she gave me a little cream that I could start using on it. To be honest, I did not use the cream <laughs> because I was a little discouraged because I'm like, how do you even know that's what I need? You right. Know? So 
I had been researching trichology, which is really just the study of scalp and hair conditions. And so I had been thinking about taking courses to get certified in that space to be able to offer more value to my clients. And I have noticed that many clients after the pandemic, and I believe because people are a little more anxious and have different things that overwhelm them and it affects our hair. Ah, you know what I mean? So all your stress, everything yeah. you're doing comes out, right? Absolutely. Wow. So I'm sure many stylists that may be out there watching are noticing, you know, women talking about like my hair used to be fuller when I would pull it in a ponytail, it wasn't like this or, you know, um, and even as a, as a mom, after I had my second child, I had, I experienced hair thinning all across my hairline. Mm. Didn't know where that came from. Didn't know there's something you could do about it. But um, to make a long story short, <laughs> um, after I had my own bald spot, it made me start looking into things and it made me push the button to get certified, to be able to help women, you know, from behind the chair, yeah. be able to address those conditions, to help educate them and empower and to give them. Give them tips and tools. Absolutely. Like not just handing a jar and saying, good Absolutely. luck. We don't know what this is going to do for you because you don't know anything of what I'm eating, sleeping, right. doing. Right. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So during the certification, I, um, I now have knowledge on how to find out what is actually going yeah. on, do a scalp exam and a hair exam to figure out um, what is that? You yeah. know, like what is it? Because it can be yeah. a number of things. And then um, also I offer like a, a more in-depth health inventory that's non-invasive yeah. that will help you discover what is the cause of that. Is it a lack of nutrients? Is it an underlying yeah. health condition? Because what I did discover, which I did not know before, is usually what's going on with our hair is an indication of something else because right. the blood is what supplies, like our blood flow is what supplies what helps us grow our hair. Right. And if that's not healthy, then what's coming out of your scalp is not gonna be healthy either. Yeah. So well, what a journey yeah. it took you to be <laughs> on it, but now you can be an advocate for others because I'm not saying, look, to all you men out there who bald, my husband included, you know, that's fine for y'all. But for women, that's, you know, yeah. that, that could be very traumatic. And oh, it's absolutely. not nearly as accepted as a man shaving his head and going bald, um, you know, and especially if you've had, I mean, I do have a, a bald patch, I was telling you, where what, after my daughter was born, that's just never grown back. Mm. So, you know, it's really, it's just not huge, obviously. Right. And I am graced with, a lot of hair right. and thanks to both my parents but uh, but still it would be traumatic to yeah. know that and to not have any recourse other than here's a jar of something that could or couldn't work it's mm -hmm. not it's not great so Absolutely. you're at she pitch you're yes. gonna be so this is for this extension of your business yes and um you are uh is so you're the growth stage right is yes. this so there's a there's a idea she pitch stage. for ideas mm -hmm. so we haven't even done anything yet and then the ones who have a business but are looking to grow it yes yes that's so exciting it is yeah. and i'm so grateful for that opportunity i i believe the chamber of commerce yes. or frederick is um really behind all that I think it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm so yeah. happy my friend told me about it and I'm able to be involved. Yeah. This is amazing. So it is thank amazing. You. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, the great thing about it too is a lot of the ladies that I know who previous years are mm -hmm. still really supporting one another oh, and yeah. friendly and you mm -hmm. get to know these other business women to yeah. become kind of like your little tribe, which is nice too. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, the one thing that makes that competition or that um, opportunity really special it's for women owned businesses yeah. so that I love that it's yeah. like women empowering women yeah. and um, you know making it possible for us to really launch into that yeah that business that marketplace thing and um, it's good to see all these I didn't even know about half these businesses that are not just in the competition, yeah. but the ones that you meet through just the networking yes. and stuff like that. It's amazing. Yes. Even this. I know. This is right. so cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. I thought I was very connected until I started this show. And then I've met so yes. many new people and speak and doing amazing things. So yes. I'm just in awe. Yes. So where can people get more information today about what you're doing? Okay. So today I'm still launching, yeah. but... If you want to know more about the hair restoration and everything like that, you can go to the beauty mission 
dot com. Oh, the cool. beauty mission dot com. And I'll put that on screen so yes. they can see it. That's yes. no problem. So that's how they can reach out yeah, and get in touch with you. It's just like it's very new. It's, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm we getting, won't, yeah, we won't judge. Don't, don't judge me. No but, judging. No, but never. No. If you wanted to book a service right now for natural hair care, that you can go to. I have um, Instagram and Facebook pages called The Beauty Minister. Oh, so I that, like it. That's, that's my um, Facebook and Instagram are The Beauty Minister. Okay. So that's me, Zakia. Yeah, Zakia. We <laughs> yes. love it. We yes. love it. Well, yes. look, we, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. We are here for you. So Thank when you. you, as you kind of explore this and get moving, mm -hmm. whether or not you win She Pitch, I know you're going to do great things oh, yeah. for women who are suffering with hair loss mm -hmm. because it is, it is, uh, you know, it's a great thing that you're doing on that. And I know we're going to hear a lot more from you. So we thank wish you. you all the best. All right. We thank you guys so much for watching. All right. And I can't wait to see what she does in the future. Now, let's see who's doing good in our neighborhood. Doing Good in the Neighborhood is sponsored by Candles by B&L, specializing in handcrafted soy wax scented candles. They use the finest ingredients and the beautiful candles are free from harmful chemicals. They are safe for you and the environment. Candles by B&L is a woman, minority, and veteran-owned business right here in Frederick. The trifecta, we love that. And at Candles by B&L, their goal is to light up your mood one candle at a time. I love candles. I burn them constantly. They've got beautiful ones, and they've got ones that I probably will never burn because they're gorgeous, but you should always burn the candles. At the home of everything Frederick, we have these gorgeous baskets that look like a bouquet of flowers, and you take each flower out. Each flower is an individual candle. Very cool. Candles by BNL.com for more information or to find out. You can order online as well. All right, Christy has made it her mission to get dogs from high kill shelters in West Virginia and parts of the South, where she told me some shelters euthanize 100 dogs a week. Oh my gosh. Blue is a sweet dog who's been with Christy over a year, and Christy wants Blue, though she loves her, to get a forever home. Let me show you Christy and Blue. At Utica Park, it's a beautiful day. I'm with Kristen, Double Dog Dare Rescue, and boy, have I got a sweetheart for somebody. <laughs> so let's go back a little bit mm -hmm. to Double Dog Dare Rescue. You took over in 2021. Mm -hmm. You have 60-some uh, people who foster the dogs that you get. Correct. How many dogs kind of go through your fostering a rescue program in a typical year? Do you so know? in a typical year, we're closer to 400. During COVID, when wow. everyone wanted a dog, we were closer to 3,000. So in our total lifetime of, of the rescue, like I said, we've, we've been around for about nine years. Um, we've saved over 7,000 dogs. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. So you guys get your dogs mostly from high kill shelters. Mm -hmm. West Virginia is very well known for that. Mm -hmm. The South is very well known for that mm -hmm. as well. So they'll contact you or mm -hmm. you kind of keep an eye on things there? Both. So they'll contact us directly if there's a dog specifically that they think that, you know, would be great for our rescue. Otherwise we look and see what they have, you know, for intake and then we, we see who we can help. Yeah. And then how does that work? Do you then reach out to your network to see who's available to take a dog or you just take them and then try to figure it out? So, so it really depends on where we're pulling from. If right. we're pulling from West Virginia, those dogs we can pretty much move in the same day. Um, so then they go directly into a foster home. If I'm pulling from the South, like Louisiana, once I tag a dog from a kill shelter, I have 24 hours to get it out. So then it goes to a foster home in Louisiana, like where we pull from, and then they go go from that foster home to a transport company. We do transports once a month. So that foster may have the dog for four weeks, three weeks, two weeks. Then they come up here and then they're in their foster home up here. 
Go wow. out. Okay. This is a lot. It's a lot, <laughs> it, it, it's a lot of do. networking. It and, is. and it really takes so many people that, that just, you know, make it happen from the shelters that we pull with to the transport drivers to the fosters there and the fosters here. Like, there's literally so many people that are invested in these dogs. Yeah. And you cover a wide range. You were saying from basically Shrewsbury in the north, western Maryland to, you know, that area all mm -hmm. the way to Annapolis on the east. It's mm -hmm. a huge area. Yep. We have fosters all over um, we also adopt out to all over so we yeah. don't ship our dogs if somebody wants to adopt one but they're welcome to come here we do out-of-state adoptions all of the time um, and then they can take their forever home back home or yeah. dog back home with them yeah now blue has been with you for quite some time mm -hmm. and you know I'm, I'm sure she's comfortable there, but we she, need to get her <laughs> yes home. so so blue like I said she was um, she was came from the West Virginia shelter that we pull from as a six week old or six month old puppy. Um, she was adopted out and then about three and a half years later, the family decided that she was just no longer a good fit for them. So the rescue's policy is that the dog needs to be returned to the rescue if it's no longer a good fit. So she came back with us. We noticed that she had um, what we thought was some anxiety issues, which turned out to be like um, dog reactivity so she was in an extensive board and train program where she you know learned how to work past that um, so behavioral wise she's good to go she does still have some reactivity to dogs so that's why we're recommending her be an only um, pet home but I mean she's a, a cuddle bug she loves to hike she loves to swim like so for anyone that's looking for a single dog household she, she's really an amazing yeah. dog. She's super soft. Yes. You wouldn't, I mean, you pat her and you're like, oh my gosh, you don't expect it. I told you it. she feels like silk. She, she does really does. She feel like <laughs> silk and she's gorgeous. Those blue eyes and just markings are great. Mm -hmm. Just a cute little And a perfect and size too. Yes. I mean, a lot of people don't want the great big dogs and they don't want the super tiny dogs. So blue coming in right around 30 pounds. She's that perfect mid-sized dog. She is. Your son just picks her up uh -huh. and you can get her where you want her to go. Um, so if someone is interested in adopting Blue, mm -hmm. how do they reach out? What do they need to do? So they would go to our website, which is doubledogdarerescue.org, and they would fill out an application. In order to be approved, um, you, uh, if you rent, we do have to check with your landlord and make sure that that's okay. Obviously, in Blue's case, we're not recommending other pets. And then we check references, and if all of that works out, then you get to do a meet and greet. Mm. and make sure that you know it's a good fit from there and if so then you get to adopt her and take her home yeah now uh, on the greater scale your website has all the dogs that mm -hmm. you currently have available for adoption so certainly if somebody isn't quite interested in blue but may want another of the dogs obviously we want to get them all good homes absolutely and right now you have how many dogs uh, available to be adopted so right now we're probably at about 30 dogs in the rescue we do have a big transport coming in on the 18th of okay. August so that'll be our next uh, transport and kind of influx in dogs but also too we also a foster to adopt program so if somebody has an approved application and we don't have a dog that they need or that they're looking for they can reach out to me and tell me what they're looking for with the shelters having thousands of dogs you know I can find it yeah <laughs> and then um, we'll bring the dog up here and then they they get to do what we call foster to adopt so they welcome the dog into their home for about a week um, see if it's a good fit and if it's a good fit then they adopt the dog if not if they determine it's not a good fit fit uh, then we find another adopter for wow. the dog. Oh, so it's kind good. of like a test drive. Yeah. Um, I, I find that it's really good for people that are maybe on the fence about getting a puppy. Yeah. So they think they want that puppy and that energy and then they get it home for the week and they're like nah give me yeah. the older dog. <laughs> I need some a little bit calmer. Right. I need something a little bit mm -hmm. calmer. How can Frederick help you? What do you guys need like immediately for the rescue to keep going and to I would help? just say networking because I, I believe in the power of networking and we have such great dogs and I, I feel like if they could just have more eyes on them, um, then you know we can help them find their forever homes. Yeah, that's great. And as a nonprofit, how do you guys sustain and survive? So we are completely donation driven. So um, like our food's donated, um, we, we fundraise for our medical cases and things like that. So n no one's paid, we're all volunteers. 
Okay, okay. And so how can people donate? So they can donate through the, uh, the donate link on okay. our website. Yeah. Um, but they can also come to an adoption event and check out the dogs and, you know, volunteer their time and, and, and help that way. Or, you know, a lot of people like to, you know, bring us food and yeah. they like to see the dogs that they're helping. Yeah. So, so that's something that we encourage too. So I posted the next adoption event that you guys have coming up. Do you remember what it, I can't remember. I believe it is, it's August it 4th yeah. and it's at the Green Canine in Urbana. Okay. It'll be from one to three. Okay. Yeah. And we'll make sure and put that up. And that's also on our Everything Frederick calendar. So if you're looking for an adoption event, you just got to use the search and you'll find it. But blue is one you actually, you really want to get her. We do. Like yeah. I said, I, I, I have four dogs personally and two other fosters outside of blue. And with her not getting other dogs, that means that we have to rotate dogs in our house to make sure, you know, that she gets her yeah. equal play time and love time too. Yeah. And, and, and I hate the fact that she has to share, you know, yeah. time with others. I, I want that forever home yeah, for her. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we're going to put the link to the website up there. Double Dog Dare Rescue. If you want to volunteer, maybe you want to foster, maybe. Maybe you're looking to adopt, but you're not quite sure. Kristen can help you out. Have a look on the website. See if there's a dog there for you. And again, if not, if you think you want a specific dog, reach out to her. She can probably find it. And then you may find out that breed wasn't exactly what you thought it was going to be. Exactly. It might look cool on TikTok and social, but in real life, sometimes these dogs are a little bit harder uh, to, uh, to house <laughs> than you may think. So check them out, Double Dog Rescue. Dot, double dog dare rescue dot org. You got we'll it. it up there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. I want to say Kristen. I'm sorry. I called her Christy. That's terrible. All right. Coming up tomorrow, State Farm agent and all around awesome woman, Kathy Schultz, Wayne Harris from New Market District Volunteer Fire Company. And he's going to talk about the big money bash and another she pitch finalist, Trisha from Swirls Ice Cream Shop. Don't forget about our podcast and please like, follow, comment, subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by September and tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick. Have an amazing day. Get out there and let's be great, Frederick. From downtown street.